Welcome to another review. Today we're gonna look over these Evergood merch pins. And uh, I did have another one, but I just kind of forgot to bring it. Um, I'm actually in my kitchen right now, and uh, yeah, <laughs> but so I'm kind of far away from that pin. But here is the first one that we will take a look at. Um, this one. Once again, it did come from California Evergood merch, um, and then it has like 1985. And then what it is, it says officially awesome. It's just a small company that does uh, all these pins. Um, uh, I believe they're just now starting on pins that are not Star Wars, so that's pretty cool. But I'm always going to stick with the Star Wars ones unless they do like a I don't know, but uh, this one is one of my favorites just because of the the kind of gold look they have, and also the coloring in here and just everything. But this is uh, the shape of C-3PO's head, and you can see that it's on indoor, an ATAT, I mean ATST, Imperial on the. Uh, speeder bike and then the Death Star and then all these all of these like trees and more ships in the sky and then kind of green for trees and it's amazing and it's very shiny and it's amazing and they do come with the rubber stubs and like here I'll take it apart first off of the card. First time it's off of the card. So yeah, you do have the little steps and just have their brand on the bottom. I mean in the behind it. And then just these rubber pieces. And that's it. And they are very I mean they're good quality, so you will not worry about bad quality on these. Um, and then this one is R2-D2, and on this one, this one's a bit hard to see, but why these are green um, is just because Luke kind of blends in, but you can see kind of a guy kind of backwards handstanding, handstand, and uh, that's Luke flip, making those objects float, and Yoda is right there, as you can see. Let me make it a little... Yeah, Yoda's right there. That little green spot right there is just his head. So, in other words, he's training Luke. And you can see the X-Wing in the swamp. And this is obviously Dagobah. But yeah, so... What I like about these pins the most is that they do a, like a... A shape of a Star Wars character, or as you can see, R2-D2 and C-3PO, and this is an enamel, more of like a blue lined pin, um, and they do have other ones like that, but also, um, what I like about these pins, as I was saying, that they have these characters like the heads or their shape, their form, and then they have like art. They have art in the center of them. Uh, places or scenes. It's stuff like that. And they're amazing. They're pretty cool. They're teaming up with uh, another company called BB Create, something like that. Um, I believe it's BB8. Free.com or something. I forget. I did put their link on one of my other videos that I did. So, but yeah, for sure, this company will be linked down below in the description. So, you guys want to check that out? Just go into the descriptions. These do cost around 
uh, nine to ten dollars, and sometimes they're like one of the cooler ones around a little bit more, like maybe twelve dollars um, at the most. Um, they're a decent price. You won't be. There shouldn't really be any complaints. <laughs> These are awesome. These are pretty awesome. Um, and then they did have a uh, other things like merch uh, of like hats, t-shirts, stuff like that. So you may be able to get a t-shirt like with this on it, or um, other things like I've seen Boba Fett on there. Um, so yeah. So hope you guys like this video. That's pretty much all I have to show you guys. Um, I believe their store is always open. Um, the other pin store, BB8, BB Create, I believe it's called. Uh, that's an Etsy store, mostly, I believe. So that store is not always open, it seems like, but they they do open it later on. But yeah, this store is open for you, and you can easily get them. Uh, you can pay through PayPal or just normal credit card. Uh, so yeah, I believe this one and this one, they were $9. Something like that, 9 or 7 forget. <laughs> but yeah, uh, they. another interesting thing though is that they don't include their names. Yes, these do have names. It does, it's not called Dagobah or like Indoor. I think they're called something else, but for some reason they don't have it on the card. Like, I would kind of put the name maybe on right here. But yeah, in other words, I'm saying they do have names, but it's only online to where you can see what the name of the pin is. Um, it's kind of interesting that they don't put the name on it, nor on the pin, I guess. I'm not sure why they do it. Maybe they just haven't really... It's like maybe, eh, doesn't matter. But, uh, I still love it. Um, but maybe one day they'll put the pins on, and then, because I may, like, get, I probably will get a lot of these pins, but forget what their names are, and I would like to know the name, but yeah. But anyway, hope you guys liked this video, and, uh, really get one of these pins, too. They're pretty awesome, and uh, it's a nice company as well. So, hope you guys want, uh, like this video. Um, and just saw more about these pins. I know I posted another uh, video before about every good merch, I believe. Um, and they're always good. Um, but yeah, like and share if you are able to. If anyone does collect pins or uh, is just only a Star Wars collector of pins and Star Wars stuff. If you know anyone, then yeah. Let them check this video out and see if they do want to purchase them. It would mean a lot to the company. So, um, yeah. So, hope you guys have a good day. And see you guys in another video. <laughs> Bye, guys.